All right, so we are live for community game development. Yay! Another episode. We are so happy to be here. Um, and there's a lot that we're going to talk about today. There's a lot that we're going to cover game development wise, and then just giving you guys some updates on the cool things that we've been doing. Um, but if you're new to the show, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Uh, this is Community Game Development, the live stream show where we teach you guys how to code video games live. Fancy that. So, who we are. I am Saber uh, from the Frag Dolls, and I am the co-host uh, co for this show along with Carrie. Carrie, say hi. Hey guys, I'm Carrie, and Red Coat Kez on Twitter and Xbox Live or wherever you want to find me. Um, I'm a game programmer, and this is what I do all day, every day. <laughs> yeah! Sweet. So, I'm so happy to have Carrie as my co-host. Um, he and I came up with this idea, like, almost a year and a half ago now? Well, maybe maybe just a year ago. Um, and, you know, we're so glad to be here, and, and we really want to share with you guys what we know about game development. I don't know much. I'm learning, just like you guys. <laughs> uh, Carrie is the expert here. We also have two more on our team. We have John, who is a our resident uh, artist. He does pretty much all of the artwork that you see in our games now moving forward. Um, and he's really great, and he's learning too. He didn't know much about uh, game art necessarily or how to get artwork into games and things like that so he's learning with us and he's super awesome and we also have Dan um, a really close friend of mine and Dan actually you're gonna see some of his gameplay later on today he is wicked awesome at like some old-school arcade games um, but he is also a game developer and he has come on board to help us with coding our website helping answer questions about code and chat uh, moderating chat and doing all sorts of awesome stuff for us so that's our team of four we're we're getting there <laughs> we're epic we're awesome and um, we really appreciate actually you know what the the sort of unnamed fifth team member of community game development is you guys the audience um, so thank you guys for joining us every month. We have a good time putting these together. Sometimes it comes down to the wire, but we're always here. <laughs> we're always doing stuff. So, yeah. speaking of what we're doing, um, today we're going to talk about Pac-Man. And yeah. Carrie has put together some code for us that you guys can download. If you download these programs and download the source code from our website, you guys will be able to code along with us, which we really hope you do. Um, so let's go to the download slide so you guys can see yep. exactly how right. to do this. We are so close to the wire this time around. I'm just zipping it up, and I'm about to post it. So it's it's that, that it's live that, right now. That live. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, so big thanks to Carrie for putting all this together. And a big thank you to Dan, too, who commented some of the code this time. So props to you guys. But the programs that you need to download in order to code along with us, there are not too many, but they are... Uh, a couple and in a particular order so hopefully you guys get this um, everything is written on the scene right now that you're watching so first off you want to download Visual Studio C Sharp Express 2010 that 2010 version is very important um, and the link is right there sadly it's not clickable but I will put the clickable link in chat for you guys if chat's working for you I know Twitch is having a rough time with chat today, so I apologize if you can't see that. If not, just type it in like you see it on the screen, and you'll be able to download. Remember, it's Visual Studio C Sharp Express 2010. It's the first program you have to download and install in that order. Yeah. Yeah, that's the first one. Yep. Second one that you need is Microsoft XNA Game Studio 4.0. So the link is there, and I will also put that in chat for you guys. Oh man, you guys are probably here in Skype because all of a sudden Skype is making noise. <laughs> this is it my fault. No, I don't think it's. Your, I I turned off the sound for Skype earlier and now suddenly it's back on. So I don't know. <laughs> but let's see. So that's the X and A link. Those are those there. If um we actually recently found this out. If you have Windows 8 and you are unable to get X and A to work properly, um. Carrie, you might have to extrapolate on this a little bit, but if that doesn't work, try installing, downloading and installing games for Windows Live first, then XNA. Is yep. that right, Carrie? Okay. Yep, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, there's just some issues that people have had with uh, Windows 8 and XNA, and we found that uh, a lot of times just installing games for Windows Live takes care of it. Okay, awesome. 
So download that. And I think also that is on our website as well. There should be instructions for how to download these things. Um, if you go to www.comgamedevredditchat.com, you can go there um, and get uh, a write-up of how to download all of these things. Um, and then while you're there, go to our forums, go to the episode section, go to August 2013, and then download our source code. It says August. I know we're in September. Yeah. We're, we're a I'm little just, behind. I'm just making the August forum right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not even there yet. So uh, we'll give Carrie a little bit more time to do that. But while he's doing that, you guys can download those programs and get those downloaded and installed so you can code along with us. Because this one in particular is going to be fun. I think we're going to talk a lot about um, yeah. level design, which sounds cool. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> I like yeah. that. Yeah, I made, um, made some code that will read a level from just a standard bitmap file, just .bmp. I figure everyone can make a .bitmap file, no matter what computer they're on. They've got something built into their OS that will let them make that, and they can make their own level. Exactly. So we really hope to see a lot of levels this time. It should be really, um, maybe not easy, because I can't ever imagine level design being easy, but in terms oh, of just opening it up in a program. <laughs> well, but you got to think about it, you know, and you have to be like, well, if Pac-Man's here and the ghosts are here and then there's a yeah. power pill here, then what do we do? You know, things like that. So um, so hopefully chat's working for you guys. I'm sorry if you can't see those links that I posted. I will continue to post them throughout the show. So hopefully chat starts to work for some of you guys eventually, maybe, hopefully, sooner rather than later. Um. Yeah. And Carrie is posting the code on our forums. And I guess before we dive any more into the show today, Carrie, do you want to talk about some of the things that we've been doing recently? Oh, wow, yeah. So uh, it's been a busy month, hasn't it? Um, mm -hmm. In game development, you have this cycle. Uh, everyone wants to buy games in the holiday season. And in order for everyone to get the games in the holiday season, all the developers have to be busy before then. Uh, so that they can get everything out and you guys can go ahead and buy it all. Um, so uh, the busiest season for a game developer is basically the last month, the last couple of months we've gone through. So uh, in that time, um, I, I don't like plugging myself too much, but uh, released Madden uh, 25, uh, so you guys should totally go out and buy that, and it would make me happy. Uh, Yay! Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was a it was a fun project to work on. I worked on the ultimate team part of the game. Um, so if you guys uh, get the game and enjoy that, then uh, yeah, thanks for the support. <laughs> Wait, I'm confused. So you so you what exactly did you do on this game? Can you talk about it a little bit? Uh, yeah, I can talk about it a little bit. It, it's out, so really anyone can pick it up and play it. And so yeah, uh, I can tell you about what I did. Um, yeah, there's, there's a game mode inside Madden. Uh, in fact, it's inside a lot of the EA Sports games now called Ultimate Team. Um, and basically, it's a card game. So you collect a bunch of cards that are all different football players, and you put together a team with those cards, and you play against everyone else's team. You play against the AI. And um, with, with, your, with your winnings from those games, you actually get awarded coins that you can spend on more packs, um, better players and keep upgrading your team um, until you've got the ultimate team, basically. Um, huh. and yeah, so it's a it's a collectible card game built inside Madden and built inside a lot of EA sports games. It's pretty Sweet. fun. Yeah. <laughs> That's neat. I, I will be the first to admit that I don't play many sports games. I don't play many sports in general. <laughs> So, yeah. I never really got into the sports games, but I think that's super cool. And I can totally get down with card games, so you had oh, me yeah. hooked there, definitely. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's sweet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but also, uh, well, we both had packs this, uh, what was it, two weeks ago? Yeah, yeah. it was it two weeks already? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, we, we both wrapped packs. I was there with Ubisoft. I was demoing the crew, which is a lot of fun. That racing game looks sick. I am really excited yeah. about that. And then, Carrie, what were you doing there specifically? Uh, I was working at the Indie Mega Booth. I was working with a company called Disco Pixel. Uh, they have a game for iPad and Android called Jungle Rumble. It's a rhythm strategy game where you control a tribe of monkeys and you defend against a rival tribe that's trying to steal their bananas. 
That sounds really cool. <laughs> And it, it, it was such a really, really cute little game. Um, and it's going to be coming out in February, and those guys are doing awesome things. It's it's just so fun, and I might have to pick up an iPad just so I can play it, because everyone that knows me knows I'm a big Microsoft fanboy. Uh, oh. But Microsoft doesn't really have the ground in the uh, in the tablet space and phone space, so uh, so unfortunately it's probably not going to be coming out on any of the Microsoft console, well, any of the Microsoft uh, handheld tablets, phones, that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, I might actually have to buy an iPad just so I can play that. <laughs> but you have um, you don't have an iPad. You have a Surface, right? Yeah, I have a Surface. I love my Surface. I can code. In fact, a lot of the code that uh, that we have in Com Game Dev is being written on a Surface. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. There you go. So I'm yeah. actually not seeing anyone in chat, and that's a bummer. I hope that you guys are able to see each other. Um, if you have any questions, please tweet at us. We are at ConfGameDev. I'm sorry, I'm a little hard. It's a little hard to understand me. I am still getting over a cold, a plague, a virus, whatever I had that I took back. I, so I went to three different events um, back to back. I went to the Toronto Fan Expo in Canada, and then I went directly to Las Vegas for the GameStop Manager Show, and then directly to Seattle for PAX Prime. They were great, they were a lot of fun, but I got sick as soon as I got back home. So I apologize if I sound a little stuffy, if I start coughing, I'll mute myself. You know, at least you guys are, you know, we have a screen and an internet between us, you guys don't actually get the virus from me. But, sorry about that. But yeah, and uh, Dan and, and John are saying that they can't see any of the links that I posted in chat, so bummer. That sucks. Wow. But, but yeah. Well, I've I've almost got the source code up. Uh, give me like two more minutes, and then it will be up. No, it's no problem. And I'm checking um, the Com Game Dev Twitter account now. So if you guys tweet at us, that's actually one of the ways that you can win prizes today. Um, I have a couple of prizes that I want to give out. I'm gearing up for all of our charity live streams for the Frag Dolls, so I'm kind of inventorying what we can give away for charity and what we can give away for the game development show that you're watching here. So I have a couple of things. Um, and I'll give you a choice of the prize that you would like as soon as you win. But the two ways to win, there are two ways. The first way is you tweet at ComGameDev and just tweet about the stream. If you want a link to the stream, great. We really appreciate that. Or you can just say, I'm having a blast watching the show. Tag us at ComGameDev and then do hashtag CGD Pac-Man. That's all you need to do. Pretty simple. I would write that in chat, but I figure no one can see it, so why bother? Um, so that's the first way. The second way is if you submit artwork or code or sound or anything for the show that we can use live today. Um, so if you do that, just email it to comgamedev at gmail.com. I'm on the, the account now. I'll be able to get it if you submit something. And yes, I expect lots of levels <laughs> from all of you guys. That's, that's, that's what I expect. Okay. <laughs> So we're getting the code up there now for you guys, real quick. And, uh, yeah, we have had one mention so far on Twitter. That's from Dan. Dan's part of our team, so it doesn't really count. <laughs> but I appreciate it, nonetheless. And um, we're actually going to watch... I don't know if I mentioned... I think I did mention earlier. Dan will be showing off some of his gameplay, because he is super good at Pac-Man. I mean, he destroyed us last month uh, in Space Invaders. Destroyed us. His high score... Like quadrupled, if not quintupled. It was, like all and it was put together, right? And then some. Yeah. Yeah. It was crazy. He. <laughs> it was so funny. I asked everyone in our team. I was like, okay, just record 20 minutes, 30 minutes of yourself playing, and out of that, we'll take the highest score, and that'll be your high score. So you have 30 minutes nonstop. Play as much as you can. You know, whatever. And he played twice, and one game took like 45 minutes because he just wouldn't die. He just had the biggest <laughs> score. It was crazy. <laughs> So the man is very good. He's a very good gamer. <laughs> so. Yeah. Well, the code's up. I just the got it up, so you guys up. can go uh, go download it and uh, and play along with us. Um, yeah. Um, so. You can write your own code. You can, uh, if you have any ideas, you can either send them to us or make them yourself. Um, but uh, other than that, um, I wanted to show you guys uh, how to make a level in this game. Um, so, uh, shall we, shall we kick it off? Yeah, um, wait, am I muted? No, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I mute myself when I cough, so. <laughs> um, 
Uh, yeah, is your screen good to to be shared? Yeah. You good? Yeah. Sweet. Okay, so let me change the scene real quick. All right. And then All right. you so are good to go. I am just going to pull this up here. All right, so here's our game. I'm going to run it. <laughs> and you said you didn't check it out yet? Oh, it looks awesome! <laughs> So oh, we, like we have our four ghosts that we're, we're going to call uh, Carrie, Kim, Daniel, and John. <laughs> yeah, each of the four ghosts is one of us on the team, which is is very clever. I uh, I like John's artistic style. <laughs> yeah. Wonder if you guys can tell which one's which. <laughs> Let's see. Are going to change back soon? I'll change. Okay. Oh. Snap. Yeah, I just recently realized how horrible I am at this game. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh, you're stuck. Uh, yep. Yeah, so it's <laughs> just going to throw me back there. Yep. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, it, it's a fairly simple game of Pac Man. There's a lot of things we can do with it. Um, but yeah, one thing I really wanted to show off I'm going to do probably more art stuff this episode than code stuff, which is definitely a big change for me, right? A little um, bit, yeah. We usually focus on the code, not so much the artwork, but but yeah. I'm excited for this. The more, I don't know, I love level design. I think that's so cool. So <laughs> uh, I'm going to stop playing this because it's fun for me, but I don't know how fun it is for you guys to watch. I was about to say, your Pac-Man was just <laughs> running into the wall for a while. I was like, hey, you might want to <laughs> run away. <laughs> All right. So uh, we've got Photoshop, which I'll be using a lot today. Um, also, I notice there's a lot more CS files in our, in our uh, game today than there normally is. We normally only have three or four. This time we've got how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. So uh, the game's getting a, quite a bit more complicated. Um, let me open up uh, Pac-Man game type. Before I jump into Photoshop, I'll show you where some of the numbers that I'm going to pull from Photoshop come from. Sweet. Okay, so down here we have Where's, where's the guys that I'm interested in? These these are the ones that we're going to need in Photoshop right here. The maze dimensions and the tile dimensions. So if I run the game again, so our maze dimensions is basically how many squares the maze is. So we've got uh, what are we at? 20 by 30. So if we were to just put a single... Uh, pill in every space and no walls at all, we'd have 20 pills across and 30 pills down. And each one of those pills is 32 pixels by 32 pixels, or the space that those pills take up is 32 by 32. In fact, everything takes up a 32 by 32 space. So when we, uh, when we go into Photoshop, those numbers all matter. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch to Photoshop right now. And I'm going to open up uh, a file that that we had. Let me just uh, open up this guy. This is inside the uh, inside the, the game. Well, inside the, the directory with all the source code, we have this CGD level one dot BMP. So this is just a dot BMP file. There's nothing, no uh, crazy proprietary source. That looks yeah. so small. Yeah, oh. it is very small. It is exactly 20 pixels wide by 30 pixels. Wow. But we're not actually looking at this for the for the visual content, even though it does actually really represent what's going on in the game. So um, uh, what we've got is we've got these blue pixels, which if I switch to my brush thingy here, my, my eyedropper thingy, see they are perfect blue, they're 255 blue, zero green, zero red. We've got the green, which is zero, 255, zero. We've got the red, 255, zero, zero. Uh, yellow is 255, 255, zero. Black is going to be all zeros, and white's going to be all 255s. And now each one of these colors actually represents something. So uh, the blue pixels are obviously the walls. You can see them very clearly when we get into the game. The white pixels in here are all going to be uh, the pills that Pac-Man can pick up. Uh, the green ones are going to be the power pills. Uh, the red ones are going to be where the ghosts can spawn. 
and the green one, uh, I already said the green one's power pills, uh, and the, the yellow one is where Pac-Man spawns, I think I've gone over all of them. Oh, and the black ones are just empty space. So if I switch back here. What does empty space mean? Can nothing go? Oh, that's how they get out of the... Yeah, gotcha. see there's nothing there, there's no pills in front of it, it's oh, just gotcha. empty space that you can move through. Gotcha, gotcha. So, uh, we can actually do whatever we want. Oop. All tabbing between everything. We can actually do whatever we want in here, and it will show up in game. Uh, all we'll have to do is uh, rename it to an LVL file. We're looking for a .LVL file. Uh, I changed the extension to .LVL just because I didn't want um, didn't want it to be confused with any art assets. Because this is this is really a level asset, even though it uses art data to to display the level to well to generate the level. So let's say um, I don't know what what should we do with this level, or should we just erase it and just start? brand new one from scratch. I mean, yeah, we, we can, can start a new one. We could do CGD level 2.bmp. Okay. Level uh, 2? Oh, it has to be harder yeah. than this. This already looks kind of hard. <laughs> so we'll go with... Uh, was uh, 30... What was it? 20 by 30? No, that can't be right. I thought you said 20 by 30. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, because the numbers were, were odd. Um, I remember actually changing this somewhere up here. Maybe we don't actually use the... Uh, yeah, maybe we got to a point where we don't actually use this. I wonder if I delete this. Maybe we could make it just so that it's just built out of a level, which I think I, I did, and then I never deleted that. Um, if I build this now... Yeah, it even complains. So it even doesn't complain, rather. So yeah, we don't even need that 20 by 30. Whatever size we make it will be the size it is. Really? Size, this image here will be the size the level is. So I think this is, uh, well, we can get it right here, right? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, canvas size. OK, so it's 15 by 21. But you can make it much bigger than that. Yeah, yeah, we can but... make it much bigger than that. Uh, but 15 by 21, I found, works out pretty nicely. Um, 15 by 21 sound like pretty odd numbers, but I find that if we use odd numbers, uh, the symmetry works nicely. Like if we had uh, 15 by 22, kind of where we've got this hole down the middle here, you can see there's there's almost like this this set of pixels here, this this column of pixels is almost like uh, the, the mirror that the, that the game, that the levels mirrored in. This is, this is the axis. That right, just like fold it in right. half and it's yeah. very symmetrical. So if we had an even number, we'd have like this this hallway here would be too wide and then this would be too wide and this would be too wide and it would be... Uh, it, it, it can, you know, you can make levels like that, but I don't know, to me it, it's kind of messy. So I always go with uh, an odd number. And uh, if I remember right, that was that was the number that worked out right for me. The... Uh, the 15 by 21. So let's actually make a new one. Let's do a new uh, 15 by 21. Oh my gosh, that's so small. <laughs> and do you have a grid set up on your, or is that just what a BMP does? Does it already put the grid on there? Because I can tell the different squares. Yeah. Yeah, in Photoshop, uh, depending on what version of Photoshop you have and how you're all set up, um, you can actually see the, the grid squares on there when you zoom all the way in. So this is what the image looks like when it's zoomed at 100%, obviously teeny. So I'm going to move all the way in. I'm going to uh, just make everything black for now. Cool. And so, so now um, we can change to uh, blue, and we can actually just start drawing stuff. Um, so, uh, let's actually come in a little bit here. I'm trying to see reason in your madness, and I yeah. can't yet. I just made like an hourglass level instead of a rectangle level, just because I could, really. Um, okay. <laughs> no, I like it. No I'm real good. Reason. <laughs> yeah. And let's kind of make it symmetrical. 
we need some space for the ghost to come out of. So we'll make this. There we go. And the ghost can go in there. And Pac-Man can spawn under here, I guess. So we'll make no. an area there where Pac-Man can spawn. Uh, and, uh, let's make something like this up here. And all these blue areas, those are walls that Pac-Man yep. cannot... Or it, no one can go into. Right. No one can go in there. Um, and... Uh, let's see... Don't want to make anywhere where he gets kind of stuck. Let's go something like this, maybe. Yeah. All right, so we've got a very simple sort of collision sort of area. So now, uh, now we can fill it with some pills. Um, what we can do is actually yeah okay so we'll switch it around make it white now i found you got to be careful with this guy kind of make it down take it down to zero let's make sure that, that the blue pixels are all still blue but it didn't bleed into the, the blue at all all right and we'll switch back to black and get rid of some of the areas where there shouldn't be pills because you want pills in most of the places, right? In Pac-Man, in most of the squares. Yeah, but well, not uh, in like not, the entrance. Not like right in front of the ghost there, right? And right. Not right in front. Not right where Pac-Man's going to spawn. And then we'll cover these up somewhere with power pills as well. So uh, if we want to, we want to make our area where Pac-Man's going to spawn. We'll make a yellow pixel right, right in there. And we want to make our area where the ghosts are going to spawn. We'll make some red pixels right in, right in here. And then we want some green so that Pac-Man can spawn, uh, so that Pac-Man's got some power pills so he can take on these ghosts. Uh, let's do one there, one there, maybe one there, one there. All right. So there we go. There's uh, that's basically going to be our level. That's going to be all the collision and stuff for our level. So now, if we want to get pretty smart, what we can do is we can uh, copy that guy. I'm going to make a new level, well, a new image, and I'm going to make it 15 by 21 again. It's going to paste this back in there. So now, if I zoom all the way in, it's all still there. And now, what I'm going to do. Uh, I do uh, image, image size, uh, I'm going to do hard edges, I'm going to change the percent here to 32,000 or 3200 percent. So now it's the exact same thing except this is at 100 percent. It's been blown up times 32. Huh. So uh, this is actually going to be what our level looks like. So. Uh, what I can do is, uh, let me fill, get rid of all this white again. So, get rid of the white. In fact, get rid of everything that isn't black or blue. And, and now I'm just going to save this out. Save this as, um, this, this can be a PNG. Uh, here we go. CGD Pac-Man. Yep, we'll save it in here. Uh, I've got to make sure that I'm in in the right. I know I've got a bunch of different instances of <laughs> this solution open. So oh, let, me no. make sure, <laughs> let me make sure that I'm in the right right guy here. Okay, so we want to we want to throw it in in this version of it. So we'll go back over here. Uh, we'll go to here. Now this is going to be our actual. Th this is the the art for the uh, for the level. So this is going to go in here, uh, in inside the content. We'll call this level two. Save that. 
and that's just a normal PNG. We can do whatever we want there. Um, but then over here, um, we're going to save this as a .bmp. This is our smaller version. This is this is the blown up 32% or 32 times rather. You're saving it as a what? I'm going to save this as a .bmp, this one. The one that's got all the information as to where the, the uh, pills are and everything. I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it as a .bmp. We'll call it level 2 BMP. OK. And then what we'll do, uh, I'm going to go back to our directory that's got everything in. Uh, so this is, this is not the directory. This is the directory. Of, where did I just save it to? <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Did I not save it to the... No, I saved it to where I wanted it. You, you didn't put it in content. You, the other one, you mean? Yeah, one of them goes in content. The one that actually shows up as images goes into content. And then the other one Was it... goes... Yeah. Oh, oh, I saved it into content. Okay, yeah. Oh, so you did? The, the, the dot .bmp... Oh. Yeah, yeah, this one. The dot .bmp... <laughs> the dot .bmp actually goes into the Pac-Man directory, not the Pac-Man content directory. So I'm going to paste that in there, and let me just copy it, and we'll call it level 2.lvl instead. Yep, I want to change it, because we've already got level 1 LVL, now we've got level 2 LVL. And the .bmps are just the files we saved out of Photoshop. Um, you don't need to keep them around, but I keep them around just for reference, basically. Um, if something crazy is going on, I can open up the BMP file and say, yeah, that's definitely not right. So does the code okay. actually look at this? It, well, I mean, the code doesn't look at the .lvl files, does it? Yeah. Yeah, the code the code looks at the LVL files and figures out where everything's going to go from the .lvl file. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay. But the LVL file is really just a BMP file. <laughs> you just keep copies of both. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So I'm going to change this right here, CGD level 1, CGD level 2. Uh, we will actually make it so that it goes from level 1 to level 2 when you beat level 1. It then goes to level 2. But for now, let's just make sure everything's working. Um, I'm going to add the PNG file as well. Add the PNG and the content right here. So now, I bet everything's going to blow up. Something always goes wrong. What's yeah, wrong? blow up. Yeah. If we just get excited about it, then when it happens, <laughs> yeah. it will be so bad. Yeah. Why could it not find CGD level 2? It, it doesn't know where this file is. Let's find the file for it. Containing folder. CGD level 2.lvl. That's definitely what it's looking for, right? Ah, because we also have to add, I know what it is. So we've got the CGD one, CGD level one dot LVL file here. We need to add the, the level oh, two. Oh, that, that makes yeah. sense. So, oh, it wants me to stop what I'm doing before I try and add files. So I'm going to add existing item. I'm going to change this to all files, and we'll add a LVL file here. Uh, change our properties. For a uh, copy to output directory, we want to change that to copy uh, copy if newer. And now it should find that file. And it's complaining that something else is wrong. Okay, it's saying that we the index is out of range. Okay, it's saying that it, it can't find the yellow pixel for Pac-Man to spawn. So let's figure out, let's move a breakpoint up here and figure out what it's actually trying to do and where it's failing. So uh, this is where we get. Where did we get our pack? Oh, it's actually further down here. If you guys are new to game development, this right here is very common. Yeah, it's an integral is... part of game development, really debugging, any development. Yeah. <laughs> debugging. I bet what what it is. We probably didn't have the right color here. And you have to have so, very specific... Yeah, the wrong shade of yellow for Pac-Man, I bet. Holy smokes. <laughs> okay, so we've got 
Pac-Man is the right color there. So, would you have to resave it, or and will it automatically pull, or do you have to like re-upload the .lvl um, file? Uh, if I'd have changed it, then I would have to. Um, but hopefully, I'll hit this breakpoint, and it's not. So for some reason, it's not getting the right, the right guy out there. Um, yeah, for some reason, it's not finding that yellow pixel. So let's go back in. So we know that the yellow pixel is here. So we are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 on the x. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 on the y. So let's change some values in here. Once we get to here, we'll change uh, y. If I hover over it, yeah, it's going to be nice. So we want to turn off the hexadecimal. We can just drag it down here. Y <laughs> and x. So we're going to change our values here. I'm going to make sure we're not doing hexadecimal. So y is going to be 11. x. It's going to be 7, and let's see what it what it gets for 7 and 11. So I'm going to jump in there. So I think chat's finally working for me, so I'm going to include... Some links for people to use. No, it just died for me. No. Twitch chat, come on. Um, people were also asking the exact color values to use when they're creating their mm -hmm. their levels. So can we, if you just um say them for me, I'll write them down and then I will keep pushing them into chat until it finally works, and then and then they'll see yeah. it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um. So let me go back over there. Uh, let me go back to Photoshop. So, actually, I think I know what the problem is. Um, and I will save it out again and make it work. But before we do that, yeah, let's go over the colors. So, Great. blue, the, the walls are blue. And that is, uh, in the RGB values, is 00, 0, 00255. 00, 00255. Yeah. Okay. The white is for the pills, and that's 20, uh, 255 for for all three of them, so 255, 255, 255. Uh, the green is uh, for the power pills, and those are 0, 255, 0. The black is empty space, and that's just 0, 0, 0. Black, 0, 0, 0, OK. The red is the enemy spawns, which are 255, 0, 0. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. What was that? 255? Zero, zero. Zero, zero. And then Pac-Man is yellow, which is 255, 255, zero. All the components are either 255 or zero. So uh, yeah, you can just drag the... Uh, and that's an uh, RGB, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Sorry, guys. I should have made a, a scene for that, but I wasn't aware. Oops. Yeah, it's totally my fault. Not Oops. giving you any time. So uh, it's all this, good. I think I know what the problem is. Uh, it's to do with the way we're saving out this file. If I save, save as, uh, we're going to save it as BMP again. And we're going to save it back where it was. CGD level. Yeah, this guy right here. I'm going to save that. And I'm going to change it to 32 bit. Let's see what it thinks of that. So let me go back over here. I'm going to delete the LVL file. And we're going to rename it here. All right, so now it's... Still getting that index out of range. 
zero f f zero. We're not finding that guy. Let's see. In a Pac-Man level. Come back in here and see what color it's seeing this time. Let's go over here. This is going to be it's a pain to switch back back and forth between hexadecimal, and, but it's easier when you're working colors to use hexadecimal. So now I'm going to switch back to hexadecimal. And I'm going to see what it's going to give us over here. It's going to give us 0, 0, 0, 0, F, 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 F. OK, so the colors are actually coming in in a different, in a different way in this one. Uh, we can actually fix that by going to our Pac-Man level. Changing our player spawn to be zero 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 FF. We may hit other issues. Oh. <laughs> oh, I saw something pop up. Yep. Yep. Let's see what it's thinking. It's it's getting confused between certain colors. Okay. Yeah, it's getting confused between our colors somehow. That's really weird. <laughs> well, you know, code has yeah. a mind of its own sometimes. It does, yeah. It really does. <laughs> like it's spawning the ghosts where the power pills are. Oh. Oh, interesting. It's spawning things. Are there like any? It knows, it knows we want stuff like and now now it's got pac-man in the right spot um yeah it's totally to do with the, the way we've got our, our pixels all set up uh so i bet actually if we do this so i'm just changing these number how's it okay these numbers have to be wrong in that case because the power pill is green right yeah that's it. Yeah, that's what you said. Okay, that's yeah. what you said. And then this guy, these are supposed to be red, so let's try throwing them there. And let's see what we've got now. It's going to complain a few times, it will. <laughs> oh, awesome. <laughs> This was totally working before. <laughs> so what we'll do, we'll switch back. Um, I'm going to switch all these back. And I'm going to switch this guy back to level 1. OK, so there we go. So now it's working here. I mean, yeah, that one works. Yeah, it's weird. So what we'll do some weird thing going on in Photoshop, I'd imagine. Um, let's grab... You can't just, like, copy and paste that that green, right? Like, over. Yeah, that's, that's what, I'm, what I'm thinking. If oh. we grab... If we grab... If we... Okay, yeah. Yeah, if we grab this guy and throw that down there... Oh, um, never mind. Let's see if you, uh, <laughs> <let's see. laughs> I thought I saw an issue, but I keep forgetting that black black nothing is okay. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't mean that you can't go there. It just means that there's no pills there. Right. <sighs> this is why I'd be bad at level design, I think. I forget <laughs> my own rules. This is totally a programmer issue. This is not a... Uh... Yeah. 
Also, guys, if you're watching, um, we only have one person tweet about the stream. And that's a bummer. If you guys want to win stuff, you should tweet. Tweet at, you know, I'll even change it to the scene where it has our Twitter account on it. So just at comgamedev, tweet. You can use the hashtag, hashtag CGD Pac-Man. And send a tweet out and you might win something. I don't know. I have lots of stuff here that I need to give away. And I'll give you a choice of things that you can choose from. There we go. So I have no idea what happened other than the fact I just copied it across and pasted it across. Uh, but yeah, so, somehow Photoshop was saving the wrong, the, the, the color components out in the wrong order. Crazy. But now it's working. Yep, now it's working. This is actually level two. Well, there you go. It looks <laughs> awesome. Oh. Except you got he got me. Yeah. That was Kerry. He's he's on the ball, Kerry. Look, he comes out first. You see that? <laughs> and then Kerry comes out, and then Dan comes out, and there's John just chilling. <laughs> John's just chilling. He's like, oh man, I gotta yeah, come back here, John. Come, where are you going, John? Where are oh, you you're going, going after Kerry? John? <laughs> oh, you got him. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. You didn't see that I was behind him there. <laughs> My little ghost is so adorable. I must say. <laughs> I must say. She's a cutie. I like her. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Who do I want to die with? Kim or... Oh, Carrie got me. <laughs> Carrie got you. <laughs> Carrie is yeah. feisty. I'm a feisty he ghost. Is. He's the first to come out. Yeah. I, yeah, he's always the first to come out. I programmed it that way. <laughs> I get to choose. <laughs> See, Kim could have come and ambushed me, but she didn't. <laughs> but if it was Carrie... Oh. Hey, John. Oh, oh hey, John. What you doing, John? <laughs> All right. So let's go back into Photoshop and play around with uh, with this file. So this is our actual image that's used in the game. So we can actually uh, do a select uh, color range. Let's see, where is it? Oh, it's in select here. Select color range. I'm going to choose all the blue, and then I'm going to make a new layer. No, nope. on the latest tab, rather. This is what happens when uh, programmers use Photoshop. <laughs> and make a new layer. I'm going to do all black and white. I'm going to going to do a. Contract the uh, the selection. Yeah, what are you doing? Right. No, I'm... I'm doing art stuff right now. This is dangerous. Art stuff. Oh snap. Yeah. We're finally getting tweets. Yes. Yeah. Longtran has already tweeted. Oh, he thinks Dan's high score is going to be thirty-five thousand points. <laughs> I've actually not been keeping track. I've asked Dan to keep track of his own high score. Oh, his high score right now is actually on screen. He is still going strong with this high score. So. Oh, man. And Mandy, at the Geeky Goddess, she all wants... She she just wants to see spiders in Pac-Man. Yeah. We can, we can make spiders in Pac-Man. I don't think we should make spiders in Pac-Man. We had enough spiders for Space Invaders last time, okay? Yeah. Just uh, what I'm trying to think of now. I'm trying to think of a troll ghost. How can we make a troll ghost, right? Because now we have to have this troll aspect to all the games that we code since Space Invaders, and we had the troll ship <laughs> or troller ship, wasn't it? Troller ship. We changed it in the code. <laughs> I remember that. Something like that, yeah. And then we had spiders in it too, and it was great. If you guys want to see it, go to YouTube. Ugh, spiders. Ugh. So now uh, I've made this kind of funky looking thing for our map. And if I save this guy, uh, save it as a PNG again. Why is it trying to save the color range? I don't want the color range saved. I want the one this guy saved. Oh, I totally did it wrong. Ah, oh, snap. I was I thought I was doing awesome. Let's see. <laughs> Programmers using Photoshop should never happen. To be fair, it's been a long day. 
It has. It has it's been, been a long day. It's, it's been a long month. Yes. Yes, it has. Yeah. It's only halfway through the month, too. I know. Crazy. Uh, so we're going to fill this in some black there. And we're going to hide this guy. We're going to make this guy all black. That guy all black. Okay, so now we see nothing but black, which is kind of what we want at this point, because then when I come in here, I go stroke, and we choose a nice blue, and there we go. Oh, I see what you're doing. Yeah, so now we can save that as a PNG. That looks pretty good. <laughs> and we'll it looks very it classic Pac-Man. We'll replace our level two guy. So we've not actually changed where anything spawns or where the pills are or anything like that, but we've changed the way it looks. So now when we run it, everything's still in the same place, but it's very retro-y, I guess. Well, John wasn't even ready to come out yet, but I got Kerry. Oh, and John, John was using Kerry as, a, as bait now. But Kerry's after me with some vengeance. Maybe Kim will help him out here. No, Kim ran the other way. <laughs> I know, right? I'm just a runner. <laughs> yeah. My ghost has all this crazy power. She just runs away. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Oh, she got me then. <laughs> I think Kim and John are working together. Probably. We're the two <laughs> least suspecting people, or ghosts, I mean. Right. I like that's, that John's ghost actually has glasses on too. <laughs> I think that's so great. <laughs> Alright, so that's painfully how we make levels. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so yeah, if, if you guys submit levels, um, if they don't work, don't worry, I'll, I'll make them work, we will. We will get it working. It'll hurt a little bit at first, but we'll make it work. Yeah, so guys, so, please, make levels. Send them to us. It's not super hard. I know Kerry kind of breezed through that because he's really good at it. So my mind's still <laughs> kind of processing, like, how in the world he made that level so fast. But And they don't necessarily have to be symmetrical, right? Maybe I'm wrong. No, but... no they, they can be any way you want. As long as there's no way the, the player can make it outside the map, then... And that's fine. Yeah. Sweet. So let's try this. <laughs> it always ends bad when I say that. Um, let's try this. <laughs> yeah, let's try. Uh, so when we've. Okay, so pills.count equals zero and power pills.count equals zero. So when there's no pills left in the level and there's no power pills left in the level, uh, we want to reset the game. And this is true because uh, we want to reset all the pills. If you die, you don't want to reset all the pills. But this is going to actually reset all the pills. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say plus plus X. And then I'm going to go to the reset game here and make sure that we don't, um, we don't get into trouble uh, by trying to load a level that doesn't exist. And what I'm going to say here is level index equals uh, level index mod levels dot link. So what this will do, um, it'll load the next level and it'll always wrap around. So if we only have two levels and you beat level two, it'll go back to the first level. Gotcha. Okay. In theory. <laughs> In theory. Let's try right, it. So, okay, no pressure, so, Carrie. You gotta win, though. Yeah. Oh, Kim, oh. Oh, Kim get her. Oh, oh, oh man. <laughs> Were you rooting for her? But, well, <laughs> um, I didn't know my ghost was so lame. <laughs> she runs the other way. Oh. Jeez. Yeah, and I, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, I recently realized that I'm horrible at Pac-Man. So I would always yeah. wait until all the ghosts are like near me, and then I'd get a power pill, and I would eat them all. But then they, they respawn so fast. So <laughs> that doesn't help me at all. I learned that the hard way. I feel like we should talk about like the history of Pac-Man, but the only history of Pac-Man I know I learned from Scott Pilgrim. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, 
and I, I, that was one of the concepts I wanted to implement for this show, and I just have not been delivering on that. So, sorry. I didn't do that. Although, I will say, I was looking at ice trays yesterday. Random. I know, ice trays. I bought a Tetris one, but I saw they had Pac-Man ice trays, and I was sorely tempted to buy them. I didn't, though. We're on level two. Hey, level two, there you go. So yeah, if you guys give us levels, we'll put them in the game, and we can make as many levels as you want. If we get 100 people submit levels, we'll put 100 levels in the game. I don't think we'll get 100 people submit levels, though. But yeah, if we you guys probably wanna... won't, but we would really <laughs> enjoy putting other levels in there. I know John is probably working on one, but we would love to see some other, other of you guys, you know, just try your hand at some level design, create something. It's not too hard, and if you get the colors messed up, don't worry. We will oh, no. figure it out. Double team by John and Dan. Wow. <clears throat> they double team me. See, this one, this is a hard level because there's this big. This big yeah, you get here. stuck up there. Yeah, if you get two of them to ambush, you, let's see, Kim's going going at me from this side. If Kerry can get up here, he's not going to get up here. Time. The board dimensions are 15 by 21 pixels, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you guys are creating this, just create dot .bmp file at 15 by 21 pixels. Really, really small. Zoom in, and then change all the colors to be the level that you want to create. And I wish chat was working for me, because then I could actually continue to post this in chat. Um, but it's not. So, that's fun. <laughs> Bummer. And um, we're back, back to level one, because we've only got two <clears throat> levels. <laughs> well, look at you rocking it. <laughs> yeah, I can trick these guys pretty easy. <laughs> There's really not that much intelligence to these ghosts, actually. They just hey, random... you don't have to be that mean. No, I, but it's I'm true. What is what is the what is I'm the coding the AI for? Code, so yeah, there's no no intelligence at all to these ghosts. They just basically, uh, when they get to a junction, they'll pick a random direction to go in, and then when you get the pill, they'll uh, they'll reverse, and that's basically all they do. Yeah, they instant respawn. That's hard. Yeah. <clears throat> he he was out. Oh, John got me. Yeah, yeah, he was out looking for vengeance then. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Dan's ghost is the only well-mannered ghost. It seems like he's it the is. only one that's not really it is. on the offensive. The only, the only thing he got me in there was when him and John were working together, and I think John um, was John put him up to it. Probably. It John is <laughs> vicious in this game. Yeah. All right. Um, oh, and also, um, we didn't really talk about it too much, but just like all the other episodes, we've got all our art assets here. If you wanted to just change Pac-Man, or you wanted to just change, I don't know, you wanted to change John's glasses, you could do that. Uh, That's true. Yeah. Uh, or if you wanted to change Kim's eyes to something, I don't know. To please give me crazy googly eyes. Yeah. That's all I want. <laughs> the googly eyes. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be so great. <laughs> Or spiders, if you guys are really, you know, keen on spiders, you can totally make a spider. Pac-Man. I think the pills have to be spiders. Oh, gross! No, you don't want to eat <laughs> spiders. It's the worst. Ugh. <laughs> you know from experience. No, I don't know from ex. Don't talk to me about that. <laughs> okay. All right. <sighs> Ugh. I freaking hate spiders. Hey, so is there any way to make backgrounds outside of those colors? Like even yeah. even that final image, that BMP image, you can make the first one that has like the the dot LVL version that has the colors with it. But the dot BMP, could you put totally different colors in there? Could you put yeah. other artwork yeah. in there? Yeah, we can put spiders in here. No, I'm I mean, not no, saying no, spiders. <laughs> Oh, you all are out to get me! I swear. No, we can put whatever art you want in here. Um, if anyone's got a background that they want to submit, um, I could actually just paste the background behind here if they wanted. Um, That's true. Yeah, if you guys just want a background that you want to send to us, great. We'll incorporate it in there. Or if you actually want to do the level design. Yep. 
Okay, so, see Mandy, uh, sorry, really quickly, Mandy on Twitter, spiders creep her out too, so you know what, that's right, spiders are creepy. Anyway, continue. <laughs> she made the ghosts into spiders and then the power pills into a can of raid. You know what, I'm down for that. <laughs> I am down for that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, so we've got this one here, this uh, the, the bigger version, the, the actual art data, uh, and yeah, we can do whatever we want to here. Um, we could just make it completely black or completely white or just a, a flat color, and then you wouldn't actually know where the walls are, and it would be confusing. Um, yeah. But yeah, um, we can do this as a .png file as well. Um, if you save this one out as a PNG file, you can actually cut out um, transparency in it. So I can actually cut out like this area here, and it would, I guess, it would be cleaner. I, I don't know, but yeah, yeah. Oh, so good. Well, hopefully you guys are able to come up with some levels. You know, if not, we can just create levels. Should we make another and, one? Yeah, I'm thinking that's the way to go. Um, and I just wish chat were working because then we could actually have you guys say what you want us to do in the level and we could do it for you. You know, if that's, I mean, that's definitely an option. However, today it's not because chat's not working. Oh, wait. So I just clicked across. I can see chat. You can see chat? What? Yeah. Okay, well, what are, you, what are you seeing, though? I can see me post, but I can't I, say I don't else. know how, oh, wait, I don't know how long this has been here for. Uh, someone say something in chat. It'll probably take him a second or two to Test, respond. test, test. <laughs> That's what I'm putting in chat right now. So, uh, the geeky goddess is saying, do we just use paint to make levels? Yeah, you can use paint. Uh, you can use paint, Photoshop, anything that you can make a .bmp file with, uh, that will work. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, Longtrans is asking where we can get the source code to go along with this. Uh, you can get it from uh, our website, uh, calmgamedev.com. If you go to the forums there, uh, there's a section for, this is technically August's episode, even though we're, we're closer to October than August now. We're like right <laughs> in the middle of September. Um, mm -hmm. But if you guys are watching this on, um, on YouTube and it's many months later, this episode totally aired on time. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you guys can go to our forums and see it uh, see the section there, um, the August episode, and the source code is right there. Um, yeah, did you get it to work? Is it is it working for you? Nope, I still can't see anything. I will refresh my my feed, but probably won't work. Yeah. Yeah, even John. Sorry, we have a separate Skype chat, so John can tell me what's going on, and even John can't see the posts that Carrie, you are able to see. So I don't know how long they've been there. That could have been like five minutes when it worked at the beginning of the show, and it's not worked since. Uh, none of that's timestamped. So, uh, and I didn't see uh, didn't see when you um, when you posted in there. Uh, um, we also have. I'm trying to look through. One, two, three, four. We've had four people tweet at us. And the most recent one, um, Benigmus, uh, I believe he has stated that the game definitely needs more pink in the level. Needs more pink? Oh, we can yes. do that. Yes, that was the request. We can do that very easy in Photoshop. What we can do is we can do uh, adjustments. And hue saturation, and we'll do colorize, and oh, actually, we won't even need to do that. We can just go into the blending options because we, we we didn't flatten anything, so it's still got the the data here. So we can go up here, and we now have a pink level. <laughs> hey, I like that. That's pretty cool. Those are fragdoll colors right there, black and pink. <laughs> so we'll we'll save this guy again. All right. So uh, and then we'll go back over here, and we'll cheat to go right to level two. 
inside our Pac-Man game type, we can totally come up to uh, where are we? level index. We'll change this to one, and we'll skip back to level two that way. And we have a pink level. Oh, pink level is cute. I like pink level. Yeah. Oh, Carrie. Yeah. Carrie's following you. <laughs> oh, man, they're all, oh, they're all on the ball today, aren't they? Yeah, just think, if they had, like, aggressive AI, <laughs> yeah, it would be a hard game. Yeah. I'm going to go around the difficult area while, while they're all confused. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. oh no! <laughs> you got so lucky. <laughs> so lucky. Oh, what's up, Carrie? <laughs> oh, man, it's not even fair at this point. Oh <laughs> snap! Yeah. All right, so we got some more pills down here. What did I say? 15 by 21 yep. pixels. Yeah, Daniel's definitely playing the nicest. I've definitely killed Daniel a lot more than he's killed me. <laughs> That's what you get for winning at Space Invaders. <laughs> wow, well, he's chasing me. There we go. All right. If you guys have a level, you can send it to comgamedev at gmail.com. Sorry, I'm actually sending this to someone on Twitter. Um. Oh my gosh, I'm seeing chat. I'm so excited. Yeah. So excited, you guys. And they all want spiders. And everybody wants spiders. Also, someone on Twitter has asked for a cotton candy level, which... Cotton candy level. Mm. You know. I can totally see that. Let's see. Um, how do you make cotton candy in Photoshop? <laughs> I mean, honestly, you could leave this map the same and then just put, like, a light pastel pink on the back, and that's pretty much cotton candy right there. Yeah. Oh, you guys in chat are so nice with all your spider talk. And... Ugh. <laughs> I'm so happy I can see chat! Oh my gosh, it's been freaking forever. We've had a couple of people tweet at us, so I really appreciate that. So you do... Uh, get into the running to win something. A prize, if you tweet at us, just tweet at ComGameDev, and then include the hashtag, hashtag CGD, Pac-Man. Oh, that looks pretty good, Carrie. Yeah. Let's uh, do, like, some clouds or something in here. Let's do... Ooh, all right, Carrie, I'm sending you a level. Yeah. Yeah. So that has been sent to you. There we go, that's kind of cotton candy, candy, I guess. Wow, that actually looks really good. I missed how you did that, but oh, that's impressive. Just, uh, your your like Photoshop skills are impressively good. I am horrible at Photoshop, so maybe it's just my mind being blown. But it's just a, a clouds filter that I did. There's a clouds and, uh, filter. Yep. Yeah, yeah, you can go yeah. to uh, filter and then and uh, clouds, and then it looks oh. like the two colors. You've There's a lens here. flare. Wow, I don't know anything about Photoshop. Clearly. Oh, lens, lens flare is is what all the noobs use. You don't want to use noobs. Really? What is it? What does it even yeah, look you don't like? Want to use lens flare. Oh my gosh! Just do it real quick. I just want to see it. Right. <laughs> Sorry. And, uh, lens flare. Oh. Uh -huh. Put it up 
here. Oh, somewhere. you select where it is. And I'll make it all bright. Yeah, you can't really see it too well because it's pink and no. white. And yeah, two light colors don't show off lens flares, flares too well. But yeah. If I was to go, say I made a new layer. And we're going to fill it black. Now if I do a lens flare, see it right away. Oh, because I have the, the edges in it. Oh, oh so snap! That looks yeah. kind of crazy. Yeah. Looks very spacey. <laughs> hmm. What we should do is put back the... Oh, okay, I see. You should put back the cotton candy level, import that, play it a little bit so we can see it, and then take um, the one I just sent you and put that in, yeah. too. Yeah, and if you guys have other levels, please send them to us. Please, 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 please. We want to see what you guys can create. Alright. Cotton candy uh, level looks pretty good. <laughs> oh, look! Especially on the cornflower blue background. Yeah. yeah that, that is horrible, Matt. That, that's the default X and A background. Like, if you don't do anything, you just... Oh, they oh you are so freaking lucky, Carrie. <laughs> if, if you don't do anything in X and A and you just start a new project and you run the game, you get just this blue background. and Someone somewhere decided that blue was the color everything should be. But I'm actually liking this, uh, this cotton candy pink. Yeah, it's a really nice contrast. <laughs> Oh, snap. Oh, if that was Carrie, I'd have let him live. If I'd have known that was him. Oh, so someone in chat. Um, oh, I might mispronounce his name. Clow this kite? Clow this kite? Yes. Um, so we are coding in... Oh my gosh. Visual Studio C Sharp Express 2010 and XNA, right? Yeah. God, I. It's funny because I like know those programs and then I don't talk about them for a month, <laughs> and then I bring it back for a month and I'm like, wait, what are they called again? So we are coding there, and if you would like to source code, you can just go to comgamedev.com/forum. I can spell forum. Oh no, I said forums. I meant forum. Comgamedev.com slash forum. No S. Sorry. <laughs> go there, go to episodes August 2013, and you can download the source code for Pac Man. Ooh. So this was um, this was the, the one that you that you sent me. Um, yeah, we can we can make this usable. Yeah. We might have to change a couple of colors. Uh, we'll use this as the um, as the art layer. But what we'll do, um, I'm going to pull up Photoshop. Also, I have another background coming your way. So let me know when I should switch screens. Or if you need me to switch screens. Uh, yeah, go ahead and switch screens real quick. All right. Actually, I'll go to the download slide. So if you guys want to download stuff, you can. Yay. All right. Let me pull this guy up. You worked on Madden, what number? 25? Yep. Oh my goodness. Worked on Madden 13 last year as well, but uh, yeah, 25 just came out. 25. I was on that. Crazy. So yeah, I've just pulled it up. Um, what we'll do? Uh, let let me actually 
see what we can do here. I'm going to grab this guy and paste it over uh, level one. This color range guy was. Um, Carrie, you went to school at Full Sail, right? People in chat are questioning. They have questions for you. Oh, Mostly, right. what are you doing? What are you coding in? And where'd you go to school? So I'm answering right. them for you. Yeah, yeah. I went to school at Full Sail. Uh, right now, coding in C Sharp um, and struggling a little bit with Photoshop here and there. <laughs> Man, you're but, rocking it. I don't know about that. 